Good afternoon. Um, it's Leanne Horbrick, and I'm here to do the recap for MST. So today we worked on using the Desmos calculator. Everyone should have a copy of this assignment in Google Classroom. And it says the objectives are to use the Desmos calculator as a way to show work. And number two, screenshot work from Desmos to Google Doc. The address for the Desmos calculator is right there. You can copy and paste it, or you can just click on it. I'm going to demonstrate five problems. You need to do those five problems to make sure they match mine and the other additional five problems for a total of 10 problems. So I'm going to start with this first question, 9 thirds plus 2 and the rest of this expression. In the Desmos calculator, you will notice there are two blue lines. Everything you type goes between these two blue lines. You have your keypad in the middle, which is your numbers, and on the left side, you have at the very top a squared, a to the second power, which is your squared, a to the b power, which you can do any exponent, and a few other ones. The parentheses are way at the bottom of here. On the right side is where the answer will appear. Then you will see a little wrench, and under the wrench you will see a fraction bar. Anything that you type in here that is a fraction will automatically type as a fraction for you. So, but if you have something that has a lot of stuff on top and bottom, you need to open the fraction key. So here's the first one I'm going to do for you. It starts with 9 divided by 3. Notice as soon as I hit 9 divide by, it automatically opens up a fraction on the left side. 3. I need to tell the Desmos to go outside of the bottom. So I either have to click outside or right arrow over to get out. Then it's plus 2 open parentheses at the bottom, 9 plus 10, close the parentheses, minus 8 plus 4 times 3, 8 plus 4 times 3. And here is the exact expression that's on the des on the the worksheet, and on the right side is 45. The next thing you have to do is a screenshot. So under the bottom where it says type here, if you start typing S N I, you're going to see the snipping tool. Just open up the snipping tool and you'll be able to take a screenshot it will look like this. It doesn't matter that it's covering where we need to take the screenshot. Just hit new. Take from the top bar all the way down to the blue return key. Highlight all of it. Go to your copy of Desmos and then hit control and V and it will paste. So here is all of your work shown nicely. Okay, number two, I'm going to not do for you. That's one for you to do without any help. But I will help you with number three. Now here's just a note for people who are using the Mac computers. Mac does not have snipping tool to do screenshots. If you have a Mac, you need to hold three keys down at one time. Shift, Command, and 4. Hold Shift, Command, and 4, and you will see crosshairs appear. Take the crosshairs and copy the same amount that I just copied. Your computer will take a picture, a screenshot, and it will send it to the pictures that are saved on your Mac 
in a section called screenshots. Then when it's time to upload, you just go to insert picture, hit browse, go to screenshot, and the screenshots will be there for you. So that's for Mac computers. For everyone else, we're just going to use snipping. I can just either hit return to get to the next row, or I can hit clear all. I'm going to do question three for you, which starts out with nine squared. Hit the nine, A to the second key, and you automatically will get your nine squared. And now on question three, you're going to see that there's a, a fraction with a lot of stuff on top and one number on bottom. If you follow the blue mouse, the blue arrow, all the way over to underneath the wrench, you will see A over B. Soon as I hit that, it will open up the fraction. It's blinking on the top. It's blinking in the numerator. So now I just have to type in what I see. Three times, open parentheses, nine minus five, close parentheses, and all of that gets squared. So I just go to the A to the second. Notice how it's still blinking on the top and I have an orange triangle over here. It means I need to put something on the bottom. If I click in the bottom, look at the original question says to put in four and bring the cursor back outside, the answer is 93. I have saved the snipping tool, hit new. I'm going to grab from this blue line all the way down to the return key or try to, my mouse got stuck. I'm gonna hit no again, because it got stuck. From here to here, it takes a screenshot, go to the page it needs to go on, and I'm just going to hit Control V. Don't worry if it goes on to another page, that's just fine. Now I'm going to do number five, which is a double set of parentheses. Let's see what happens when we do that. I'm going to hit return to get to a clean spot. Number five has a double set of parentheses. So the three is outside, open parentheses, 10 minus, I have to open them again. And you'll see these two little gray spots. That's telling you that you need to have two closed parentheses. Every opened needs a closed. And then as soon as I hit 27 divide, it's going to look like a fraction. See how it looks like a fraction? I put in the nine. Because it looks like a fraction, I have to get outside of the fraction to close off the parentheses. And I have to close it off twice because every open parentheses needs a closed. And the answer is 21. Do the same thing take a new screenshot, grab all of this down to the blue return key, go to my assignment, this is question five, control V, there is my work. I'm leaving six for you, I will do seven. So seven has division and exponents. Go back to Desmos, go to a new clean line, and I'm going to do seven. Soon as I hit the division after putting in the 22, it'll go to the bottom, the denominator, 11. I need to tell Desmos that I wanna get outside of the bottom of that. Then hit times nine minus three, the square key is A squared, final answer is nine, and again, just grab a quick screenshot from the snipping tool to the original document. And there's one more that I'm willing to demonstrate. Number nine, this has a fraction, um, parentheses, and stuff outside. 
So if you can do these five, you should be able to do the other five. I do expect you to do all 10 questions. I'm going to a clean line and I'm going to do number nine. As Soon as I hit 24 and divide by, it's going to give me that open fraction. I put the three in, I have to get to the outside. I have to tell the calculator that I want to be outside of the fraction. Then I can hit the plus, the three, open parentheses, and everything else. Seven plus 18 in the parentheses. Minus three, minus two times Five. Go all the way over. The answer is 70. One more screenshot for me. Hit new. Grab from the left to the right and then down under the blue return key. Go to the original document. Control V. So you're expected to do all 10 of these questions and then submit. I hope you find this helpful. Take care now. Bye.